everyone it's Lou Collins thank you so much for joining me for this collaboration with Sasha Reed. we are both giving you three different ideas for cards for men um, these are also mine particularly are going to be perfect for children's birthdays for teenage birthdays as well for Father's Day which is coming up now I've mentioned Father's Day a lot during this video because it's Father's Day coming up uh, in June this year in the UK so we're getting prepared for that too Go and check out Sasha's videos if you haven't done already. And if you've come over from her channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy seeing the process of each one of these three being made. Everything I've used will be linked down below for you, as will Sasha's video if you've not discovered her channel already. So this first card is suitable for not only for Father's Day, but also for teenagers, girls, boys, children. Um, hopefully you're going to find this really useful. This is actually um, a card that I was inspired by, excuse the paint on my hands, uh, inspired by um, from Pinterest. Unfortunately, it was quite an old design, so the link back didn't take me to the designer to be able to credit them. So if this is your card design, please let me know in the comments so uh, I can credit you. Um, but it's basically creating a card that looks a little bit like a, a Converse shoe. So obviously this is a brand. Um, we're not going to perfectly recreate the brand, but something that looks similar. My husband wears these types of shoes all the time. So these this would be absolutely perfect for him. So I've actually designed a little logo here that kind of looks a little bit similar to the logo with Happy Father's Day written in it. Um, you can go to my blog and download this if you want to use this one. I'll make sure that's linked down below. There'll be a post about this video with this logo download attached. So uh, like I say, description below, you'll find the link for that. Uh, so I'm going to actually use a die to cut this out because that's just going to get me the perfect circle. I can never cut a perfect circle. I've just printed this onto um, copy paper and I'm going to tag down a die and cut this out. Now, I'm going to be going on to a around about a five by seven inch card base. So I've taken this image into a Word document and printed it off at around about three and a half centimeters. Okay, so that's roughly your sizing, but you could print lots of these off different sizes and then just see which one fits best for you. Use them across multiple projects. So let's just die cut this. I've just got some nesting dies. If you don't have a printer, if you don't want to download and print off this logo, you could cre recreate a similar something with uh, nesting circles, a black pen and a star die perhaps. Um, but there we go, so there's our logo. Um, certainly much easier to use that download if you can. So I'm going to be making this a blue trainer uh, effect, but you can go again with any colour if uh, the person you're creating the card for has got a particular style or particular colour of shoe they wear, of course you can use that. So I'm going to just use this navy blue cardstock, it's kind of a little bit brighter than navy blue, and mark inside so that I've got a nice matte layer around my card and trim this down. Just make sure you save a strip of the same colour cardstock because you're going to need that in a few moments. And then on the base of my card, I'm going to put the sole of the shoe. So this is going to be around about, not quite an inch, maybe about two centimetres, a strip of white cardstock here. And then also for the sole, what you're going to want is a very thin strip of the colour that you've just created your base of your shoe with that's why we needed to save this excess so uh, that should hopefully that will be thin enough if you look at this style of shoe they have this sort of thin strip at the bottom I might see if I can get that a little bit slimmer uh, the trouble is the slimmer you go the more likely you are to just ruffle your cardstock up but this trim is usually pretty good oh uh, there we go that's a little bit slimmer so I'll probably use that one I'll still save these scraps just in case I want to add some texture to um, the sole of the shoe, just a little bit. So I'm going to put this into my scoreboard envelope box maker. This actually comes with a diagonal kind of guide. This is for making envelopes and such, but I'm going to use it to create myself um, kind of score lines that are on the diagonal. And I'm just going to lightly score down each line and this is just going to be really subtle um, detail, really subtle texture in the sole of the shoe, but I think it will look really cool. I'm going to then flip it over and probably use the deboss side 
um, on the front there so I'll turn that round you can see I've got this kind of texture in the bottom that will be perfect it doesn't really matter which way on the strip goes so I'm just going to pop it this way as I say I have flipped this over so the deboss edge is at the front then the thinnest piece of glue I've actually got a bubble on there so there we go the thinnest line of glue just a few millimeters from the bottom and that's going to allow us to put our blue strip along here now naturally my um, program didn't pick up me filming this bit but I've added two white eyelets just to the edge of this as you can see we've got the blue strip there we've got the sole as well so now it's time to add the laces element so for this I'm not actually going to need um, white eyelets I'm going to do those with paper I'm going to do them a little bit larger so I'm going to take my cropper dial again which is what I set my original eyelets in the back panel there with and I'm going to do three holes it doesn't matter just in some scrap white cardstock there they're going to be for my laces to go into and then I've got a small nesting die and this I'm going to die cut round like so so a little bit of tape there and I need to do this three times so now I've got my three eyelets cut I'm just placing them on my card at a slight diagonal on the right hand side there just gluing those on now because my eyelet punch my cropper dial won't go through um, this the, all the way into this cardstock so as you can see the holes I can only get through that far I don't have the big bite which will reach all the way through I'm going to have to poke holes through there to get the ribbon through but that's fine but before I do that I want to add some faux stitching so I'm just going to place a ruler along here and take myself a tool that I absolutely love and this is a tracing wheel it's a haberdashery um, tool and it just pokes holes in like so so hopefully you can see that there's some let me just get that in the light there's some faux stitching so I'm going to do this both sides of the um, eyelets that we've just put in so do one more about there only up to the sole I don't want it actually on the sole and then I'm going to use a white gel pen just to fill in little lines between that faux stitching now I've got my faux stitching in I'm going to just push a hole through the center of each of these eyelets ready for my ribbon to go through I'm doing all of this before I map this layer onto my card base and then I'm going to take a piece of my ribbon which is quite a lot wider than the eyelets but I'm going to just push it through I've got a pokey tool here and through that hole that I've just made I'm going to try and feed that through it doesn't matter it needs to bunch up anyway which laces naturally would as they go through the eyelets wrap the lace around and then uh, you can fold this in half as well if you've like me if you've got quite a wide lace and then secure that on the other side with just a little bit of tape So I'm just going to repeat this for the other two eyelets that I've created as well. I actually ended up finding that tweezers were really helpful for guiding this ribbon through the smaller holes. So there I've got my laces, they look so cool. Just by using the textured ribbon you really get the look of laces there and this sort of ribbon is so easy to come across. So just search for grow grain ribbon. Now the last finishing touch is that bit that I showed you at the beginning and of course that's the logo here so I'm going to adhere this on as well. If you want to you could put something like some glossy accents on this, really make it stand out but I'm just going to glue it on so it's matte. Um, I think it can go around about there, making sure the happy Father's Day um, is showing, there we go, it's kind of central at the top so it's easy to read, perfect. Then I just need to put this onto my card base and I'm going to raise it up with some foam pads. So just pressing that onto the card, how cool is that? I just think it looks brilliant. Like I say, not just for Father's Day, this could be for any occasion, boy, girl, any age, if they wear this sort of shoe, it's just so much fun. So let's move on to the next card. 
This next card is so simple to do. Now I'm going to use a square card base and I can cut this down if I need to once I've got my design. If I think I, the card base is a bit big, it's really easy to snip down, just use a different envelope. The colours I've chosen, I'm going to use the white card base quite a bit, but I've chosen these three really bright, bold colours. Now for masculine cards, a lot of people think that you need to then go grungy, browns, greys, but I like to add colour, so um, you can personalise this. You can, of course, do this in metallics and browns and such if you want to. But, yeah, this is definitely my preference. I'm feeling the, the weather's horrible outside today as I'm filming this, so I want something bright to cheer me up. So I've also got a simple alphabet die. This one is all one piece, which I love. As you can see, I've got lots of spares in there as well. Um, but I'm just simply going to die cut this from black and create a simple sentiment. Now to add interest to this, because essentially we're using lots of plain cardstock rather than patterned, I'm going to add interest with embossing folders. So each of these um, colours I'm going to use the star dies with i'm going to cut some a variation of different size and colored stars run them through the embossing folders really really quick simple card i think the blue is going to be my standout color so i'm going to do a couple of blue stars a large one and a small one um, and then one each of the orange and green i think that's going to be enough um, i can always add more afterwards if i want to now this card I'm going to be doing as a birthday card rather than a Father's Day card, but you can definitely adjust the sentiment, put a different word on there, write the word dad, father, whatever it may be, stepdad, um, uncle, brother, <laughs> um, or maybe you send Father's Day cards to your mum for whatever reason, you know, we all have different family situations. So I'm just popping out all these letters, but I don't actually need them all. That one there so which ones do i need i want this hashtag definitely i'm going to make this a really cool card um i'll pop the rest of those out in a moment but what i want is the h and the b so i think the h is already in there so h b is of course abbreviated happy birthday i also want the u there and then i'm going to find another die set to cut myself a number now I've cut everything out and in an ideal world I would have used the number two there um, but I couldn't find a die with a number two on that was a suitable size. Again something I need to add to my stash definitely but uh, I've used the a T instead so happy birthday to you. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of ink spray here just to do some flicks. This is a similar sort of colour to one of the stars. Um, it could have been absolutely any one of the colours really and then I'm going to just depress very gently and pick up some ink in the tube and then depress again and that gives you bigger splats so allow that to dry completely that doesn't take long at all you can probably actually see that moving as it's soaking into the paper already something perhaps something like that will be fine and then my black letters i think that will work so i don't want anything i want i want the stars to look quite random yeah, I like that. I think that will work. So um, I'm going to use foam pads for these. Let's just take this one first because that's one of the top ones and just place it on that star. Okay, not on the cardstock. And then one on the back of there. Place those two down. So take the backing off so they can go around about there then a foam pad on the orange one okay and then I just need to arrange my letters so I've got my hashtag and my HBTU so I don't want my letters coming any further than about there I'm going to work backwards just like so now these letters and the hashtag can also be put on with foam and the great thing is that these alphabet dies along with these foam pads they fit absolutely perfectly and I'll show you what I mean and I'm going to place each one on one of the letters. And they, as I say, they just fit absolutely perfectly on the letters. So these are one inch square um, foam pads. They're from Craft Stash. They're black as well. So they'll work really well with the black cardstock. Okay, so just lifting each one up, I'm going to peel off the, the inside of the letter, place the cardstock letter over the top, just like so. That way, I can get a really perfect alignment of the foam and the cardstock. 
then peel off the backing and place this first one on. So once I've got the first one, I can then use a ruler if I want to, to place all of the others and make sure they are all straight and they're not going to be higgledy piggledy as they are now. So there's a quick card that's suitable for gentlemen, for teenagers again, for teenage boys, they're just the hardest. Um, but you can make this with any colourway you like. Just kind of a splash, an explosion of colour and then the bold letters across the front there. Happy birthday to you. And of course you can mix up your sentiment in any way you wish. Okay, now the third masculine card. This one is such fun. For this card there's lots of elements to it but essentially you don't actually need anything specific to make it in the way of dies. I've gone with some of my kind of more unusual shaped nesting dies to get the shapes that I wanted but you could even hand cut these if you wanted. So I've used these die sets here. Um, so I've got a curved top one, labels and um, some nesting dies that have a bit of a notch in the corner and I've actually cut one of each of the shapes and trimmed them. So this one I've cut in half, this one I've just trimmed the top of. And when I put the two together like so, we're starting to get the shape of the back of a truck or a van or a, a pickup, whatever you want to call it. Now I've also taken some black cardstock and I've run it through one of the embossing folders that we used for the stars card. Um, and I'm using my corner punch just to trim, let's go into the corners, not the notches, They're just to round off some of the corners, push that all the way in, I'm just doing the bottom two, and then that's going to sit under here, so they're kind of, these notches and the nesting dies are kind of going to be wheel arches, and that gives us the effect of some tyres. Now I'm also going to use a nesting die, this is a rectangle that I've got that will sit nicely in there. This is going to cut the back window into the back of the truck as such. So there we have the window in the back of our truck, we have the back, we have the tyres as well. So just pop those on there, so just piecing this together a little bit at a time. And then I've cut this same shape in a mirror card, obviously I haven't cut all of it, I didn't need to cut all of it, but I'm going to just use my um, trimmer to cut off the bottom piece there. And this is going to be the bumper for the truck, so I'm going to call it a truck. You could do this in any colour you wanted as well. Again, this would be perfect for children who love their um, vehicles too. Now we need to create a drop down piece at the back, so the door at the back. Um, I'm going to use my scoreboard, I'm just going to use my pokey tool first of all to do a, a light line across so I know where my bumper comes to. With my scoreboard I'm going to score a line a little bit, uh, let's go about there, so uh, about half a centimetre taller than or higher up from that bumper and I've not done it exactly width wise I'm going to figure that out in just a second because I'm now going to take this into my trimmer and I'm going to trim the doors the edges of the doors so I'm going to put this at the it's kind of uh, I think it's half a half an inch line here I'm going to run the cutting blade down to around about where that score line just was and then flip this over, put that again at around about half an inch in from the edge and run this down there too. So now I should be able to fold this down just a little bit. Now I'm not going to be folding this all the way down, I just want to have the illusion of a little bit of lift, just the door there, hopefully you can see that there. I have got myself some lights, although these might be a bit big, but we'll put them on anyway because they're good fun. So this doesn't have to be a realistic truck. This can be quite um, kind of fun, cartoon-like. We've got the bumper there. This will obviously all look better once we glue it down with everything in position. I just place things like this so I can see what I'm doing with everything. So there's the back of it so far. I do want to use my sentiments for all paper pack because I want to create a number plate that's kind of personalised. Now I want to use the word my favourite. If this was for my dad, I'd definitely be saying my favourite. 
Um, so I'm going to use an alcohol pen and just colour this strip in with yellow, just like so. Because here in the UK, the back of the num the rear number plates are always um, yellow, or nearly always yellow. Anyway, so it just makes it a little more like a number plate then. So hopefully you can see that starting to come together. Now I've got myself a card base with just a pale blue um, background. That card's going to sit on, the truck's going to sit on. I'm going to build this up in a moment. Um, and then from the back of the truck, we're going to have some balloons coming out. So I'm not worried about anything being in here. I might put a little bit of a wing mirror. Sorry, not a wing mirror. They're the side ones. Um, a rear view mirror in there, perhaps. But there's lots of balloons going to be coming out of the back. So you're not really going to see much there at all. I'm not too fussed about that. So I'm going to adhere all of this down onto my card base. It is going to overlap the edges of the card, but I like that effect. I like that it looks chunky. I'm going to just use a bigger envelope in the end. So that's kind of the truck put together. I did purposely put it at an angle just so it looks like it's kind of tooting along, but I need to add the balloons in now. Now the balloons are not going to be cut uh, with a die. These are going to be hand cut. So I've selected five colors and I'm simply going to do a kind of like a teardrop shape. I'm going to make it around about the size of a coin as well. So just like so, maybe just round that off a little bit more so it's not quite so wobbly and I'm going to do quite a few of these each one I'm going to add a white highlight to the top right hand corner just with the white gel pen there a little bit like that and also each one I'm going to attach to a piece of string so uh, I'm going to try my wet glue with this I think wet glue will be fine as long as I can leave it to dry I'm going to put a little bit of glue the base of the balloon there just adhere some baker's twine I'm going to use the same color baker's twine all the way through snip that a little bit longer than I think I'm going to need let's just turn that around make sure I'm happy with how that looks yeah that'll be fine because those strings will be going inside the trunk there um, I'm going to leave that we say the boot here so I don't know why I'm saying trunk <laughs> <laughs> truck trunk um, and I'm going to repeat that for quite a few balloons I'll probably do between five and ten I'll see what looks good so I've just gone with the five balloons because I think it's quite cool if the truck is actually uh, kind of the focal point on the reverse over the string I'm adding a piece of um, foam tape now already I've got the glue holding the string down anyway but the foam tape is just going to support it a little bit more make sure that doesn't fall off and now I can start thinking about arranging the balloons so I'm just going to go in and stick one down I'm not worried about the strings at the moment we'll sort those out in a moment like that and then all of these strings need to kind of come together and go under here in the same place so I'm just going to give them a little bit of a twist. Cut them all a similar length because we don't need this excess. And because this foam tape, although it sticks, you are able to peel it up. So I'm just going to lift down the, um, the back door there, I suppose I'll call it, and place those balloons over that piece of foam and that should hold them all in beautifully okay perfect there we go so we've now got our balloons coming out of the back of our truck with my favorite on the number plate I mean how fun is that you can put any sentiment inside this could be for birthday it could be for father's day just a celebration and for absolutely anyone, but I think, yeah, for Father's Day, that would be really, really cool. Well, that was a bit of a marathon of card making there. So we've got three card styles, completely different, all suitable for not only Father's Day, which is coming up soon, for male birthdays, for 
children as well these would work for i think you could do them for lots of different ages and genres don't forget to pop over to sasha's channel i'll link that down below where she's collaborating with me today to give you lots of ideas for masculine cards she's got three ideas on her channel too for you and of course if you enjoyed this and you are not a subscriber of mine please do make sure you hit that subscribe button you can do that just here and make sure you check out this video here thank you everybody take care i'll see you again soon